Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today's video is part of a cookbook collab hosted by Tamara at Southern Wife Everyday Life. I will be sharing two recipes today from the Skinny Taste Cookbook, peanut butter and jelly overnight oats in a jar and make ahead Western omelet muffins. As soon as you're done watching my video, be sure to check out Tamara's channel and show her some love. Also, be sure to check out the collab playlist for lots of other yummy recipes. If you're coming to my channel from Tamara's or from the playlist, welcome. I do weekly what's for dinner videos and grocery hauls, plus recipes and more. I hope you take a look around my channel and that you'll consider subscribing. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. Let's get into these recipes. First up are the Make Ahead Western Omelet Muffins. Here are the ingredients that you'll need. You'll need some cooking spray, some eggs, the recipe also calls for egg whites. I didn't want to waste any of the yolks though, so I'm just using some of these egg whites in a carton. You'll need some salt and pepper, some bell pepper. I'm using red bell pepper. You can use whatever color you like. Then I'm going to use some diced ham, some shredded cheese, and then some green onions. To get started, I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. In this bowl, I'm going to add in my eggs, and then I'll add in the egg whites. Then I'm going to take a fork and beat those until they're well combined. Then I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Then I'm going to whisk the salt and pepper in. Next, I'm going to add in my cheese, then my diced bell pepper, my chopped green onions, and then my diced ham. You can buy diced ham or cubed ham in the grocery store, and sometimes I do that, but I like to buy the ham steak from Walmart because one, it's cheaper, and two, I can cut it into different sizes based on what recipe I'm using, but you can use either or, whatever your preference is. I'm going to stir that together and then set that aside. Next, I'm going to spray my muffin tin really generously with some cooking spray, and then the recipe said to add the egg mixture to the muffin tins in a quarter cup measure and I did that and it actually worked out perfectly I got exactly 12 of these little muffins I'm going to bake this for 20 to 24 minutes here they are out of the oven now keep in mind these are souffle a little bit so they'll deflate a little as they sit and then here is my plate I just served a couple of these little omelet muffins with some fresh fruit and this was a really delicious and healthy breakfast and this made great leftovers we kept these in the refrigerator and then just popped a couple in the microwave for a few seconds for the next couple days and we had breakfast breakfast. Next up, I'm making peanut butter and jelly overnight oats in a jar. When I first got this cookbook and I flipped through it, I saw the picture of this and it looked really good, but I was like, eh, I don't really know about that. And I gave my husband the cookbook and I asked him to flip through it to see if there was anything that jumped out at him. And he immediately, as soon as he saw this recipe, he was like, ooh, can we try this? And I was kind of surprised. I didn't think it would be anything that he wanted to try, but he wanted to try it and I did too. So we decided to give it a whirl. Here are the ingredients that you'll need. First step is almond milk. Now you may be able to make this with regular milk, but I don't know. I haven't tried it and the recipe called for almond milk, but you could try it with regular milk. You'll need some sugar, quick oats, some jelly, crunchy peanut butter, and the recipe did call for grape jelly, some chia seeds, and then some grapes sliced in half. I have these eight ounce mason jars. Now the recipe is for one serving, but I'm doubling it for my husband and I. This would be great though to make for meal prep. So you could make how many ever you need, two, three, four, five. I'm going to add the almond milk into the jars. Then I'm going to add in my oats. And again, you wanna make sure that you're using quick oats. Next, I'm going to add in the chia seeds. Now, I've never had chia seeds in anything before, and I wasn't sure how we would like them, so I added about half of the amount that the recipe called for, but I didn't find that it affected the taste or the texture at all, so I think next time I make these, I'll use the full amount. Then I'm going to add in the sugar and then the grapes, and again, you'll want to slice these in half. Now, while I was making my husband's, I remember that I had some strawberries in the refrigerator that I wanted to use up. So I decided to do one strawberry version. So I took some of these strawberries, I cut them into pieces, then I placed them into the second jar. Then I'm going to add the lid, shake it really well, and then you're going to place this into the refrigerator and leave this overnight. 
It's the next morning and I'm going to get our breakfast ready. I've pulled these out of the refrigerator and removed the ring and the lid. Now you can eat these cold if you'd like. You could also set this out on the counter while you get ready for work or while you get the kids ready for school. We like our oatmeal a little warmer though so I popped each of these into the microwave for about a minute just to warm them up. Once I did that I added the peanut butter into both jars and then into the jar that had the sliced grapes I added the grape jelly. Into the jar that had the strawberries I added the strawberry jelly and I'm mix that together. Now my husband's jar was a little bit full so I went ahead and poured his into a bowl so I could stir it really well. And here are the oats. My husband and I tried a little bit of each other's oats and we actually both preferred the strawberry version that I made. So next time I make this I'll make that strawberry version with the strawberries and the strawberry jam instead of the grapes. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will include a link to the Skinny Taste cookbook in my description box below. There are lots of other yummy recipes in that cookbook that I'm really excited to try. So if you want the recipes from today's video or if you just want to check out the cookbook again I'll have it linked down in the description box below. Be sure to check out Tamara's channel as well as the collab playlist and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.